welcome back. We are working on CS50. We are in week 6 and we are beginning our Python tutorial starting with Mario. I got some feedback from one of my users that wanted to see the code a bit larger. So you're going to see less code on screen now, but you should be able to see it larger. So hopefully that helps you guys read it as we're going through it. Now this is actually going to be pretty simple, so this video should be pretty short. A couple of things. I am still using dark high contrast mode just as a reminder because I haven't told you guys in a while. So when you're looking for your themes, you're going to go to your settings, go to themes, color theme, and you want to use dark high contrast if you're trying to match what I have here. Mario in Python. We're doing the same code now that we did in C. So you're going to look at your Mario C here and we have to remember what was done in C. It was done in 41 lines on my code and we're going to try and code it in less in Python. Also it should not be as difficult to code in Python. So when we get into this you're only given a to do. It just says to do at the top. Now I've inputted the notes here to make sure I'm tracking with what I need to do while I'm doing the things I need to do. So we need to keep prompting the user for input until a positive integer is entered. We need to convert the user's input to an integer. If the input cannot be converted, we need to print an error message and continue looping. In other words, please put in a positive integer, value is not an integer, whatever the case is. Then we need to get the height of the pyramid, validate the height, must be between 1 and 8, and then we need to generate the pyramid. Let's get into this. So for line 1 here, in order to accomplish what they were asking us to do, let me go back here. They want you to write a file called Mario Pi that recreates the half pyramid. Now one of the things they put in here is that to make things more interesting, first prompt the user with get int for the half heights pyramid for a positive integer between 1 and 8. So let's get started on this thing. The first thing that we're going to do is define get int, right? So that was one of the first things they wanted us to do for prompt and colon here. And then we need to keep prompting the user for an input until a positive integer is entered. So tabbing out while true we are going to try and this is Python so while true is capital T try and now we're going to convert the user's input to an integer right so we're gonna return integer input prompt and we're going to close that out. And then after that, we're going to accept a value error where if the code is converted to an integer or cannot be converted to an integer, we need to print that error message. So we're going to put that here. So print. And remember, in Python, it's just print, right? So let's just say invalid input uh, please input a positive integer and then we'll put a period close that out and close that out so that takes care of our whole first function there and the next thing we need to do is get the height of the pyramid now this one should be shockingly simple being in Python now so height is just going to be get it right the number that they put in as height And that's it. Next thing we need to do is we need to validate the height. Must be between 1 and 8 and must be inclusive, right? So we need a while loop. So while the height is greater than 1 or height is less than 8, we need to print height must be between 1 and 8. You can put, please select a value between 1 and 8 or whatever you want to print there, that's fine. So height uh, equals get int, which we defined above in the first thing that we had there, and height. And we'll do colon space quote, and then we need to generate our pyramid. So all we need to do now is kind of a for loop. So for i in range, right, of 1, comma, height. And we need to do plus 1, just like we did in our other code, right? And then we're going to put a colon here. And it's going to be print. 
and we need our spaces right just like we needed in the C code but in this we're just gonna do the space right here so the space plus the height minus I again just like in your C code right and then plus and now we need our hashes to create the pyramid so we're just gonna put the hashes in there times I and that should wrap us up so let's go ahead and do this real quick so we're gonna run our program Python Mario dot pi here and now we're gonna run our Python here height let's put eight and I should have realized that that was spelt wrong by that so let's fix that and my apologies this one's not a plus this one's a asterisk or a times and then let's try again eight there we go the only thing I'm gonna change here is you see that height right there where it wasn't giving me the space we're gonna go ahead and put that space in there so we're just gonna do it like this save that and then let's run that again real quick now it gives us the prompt with the spacing in between it so we've got that fixed and that's your code for mario python congratulations on week six one of four we've got cache readability and dna coming up this is cs50 that was mario python i'm devin you are awesome we'll see you guys soon